As you guys could tell by the title of today's video, I am going to be taking you guys with me to the Louis Vuitton 200 Trunks, 200 Visionaries pop-up shop and exhibit here in New York City. So I'm going to roll some footage of that and then we'll come back and chat all about the pop-up. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber Marion. If you are new here, let me catch you up to speed with what's going on. I am doing the 21 days of designer luxury unboxings in lieu of Vlogmas here on my channel. So every day in the month of December, you're going to get a luxury unboxing, a luxury related unboxing video here on my channel. So if you're not already subscribed, you definitely wanna go ahead and subscribe. And while you're at it, turn your post notifications on because like I said, every single day in December, I will be doing a luxury unboxing. While you're at it, you might as well go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well. I'm gonna throw my little Instagram up there. So yeah, so you guys saw from that little bit of footage that I compiled together the exhibit. Basically the exhibit was three floors, 200 trunks designed by 200 different designers, visionaries, people, all in honor of Louis Vuitton's 200th birthday. So the pop-up shop itself, to get tickets, you can go on louisvuitton.com and um make your reservation there it is in new york until december 31st so until the end of 2022 it is on madison avenue in new york so that's what i did i made my reservation online it was super easy it's free you just kind of select your day your time slot and how many people you'll be going with so that's what i did fast forward to the week of me actually going to the exhibit I was at the Louis Vuitton store at Riverside Square. I consider that kind of my store, my Louis store. And um, I was asking my SA if they knew any information about the pop-up because obviously, as you guys saw, I took Brixley in her stroller. So I was kind of just nervous beforehand. Was it handicapped? Well, everywhere it should be handicapped accessible. Let me say that. But I was a little nervous. Can I bring a stroller? Those kind of questions. So I was like, hey, I'm going to the pop-up on Sunday. He was like, do you have the fast pass? So I was like, um, well, I made the reservation online. I'm not really sure if that's the same thing. So he was like, no, let me give you these tickets. So he gave me these tickets. 
So it kind of has all the information of where the pop-up is, how long it runs, the hours every day and he was like yeah just show this at the door you could go anytime you don't need a reservation so i ended up keeping my reservation i went on a sunday afternoon um i definitely will be going back like i mentioned the pop-up is running through december 31st of this year which is 2022 i was not expecting the actual pop-up shop to have purses and small leather goods and jewelry i thought it was kind of just going to be merch based on the exhibit that's kind of what i had seen on instagram and other people's videos that had gone to the exhibit in other cities i believe it traveled to four cities and new york is the last city i know it was in beverly hills and i know it was in miami i'm not 100 percent sure on the other cities if i do remember i will list them here so the exhibit itself is three floors of 200 trunks designed by 200 different people, as I mentioned. So um, one of the trunks I was really excited to see, which you guys saw, was the Marc Jacobs Stephen Sprouse design trunk. I was also super excited to see the Kim Jones Supreme design trunk. I knew I really wanted to see those trunks. So I picked up a few things at the pop-up shop. I ended up actually purchasing a handbag, which you guys will see later on in the 21 days of designer unboxings here on my channel. You will see it very soon. I'll give you guys a little bit of a teaser. So this is it. You guys will see this soon on my channel but I also picked up some stuff that was exclusive to the exhibit and the pop-up shop so let me show you guys what I picked up so before going there I had seen a few videos on YouTube of different people going to the exhibit in their city as well as on Instagram so I knew that they had a canvas tote bag that said Louis 200 so going there, I knew I wanted the tote bag because I figured I wanted to pick up something that kind of was symbolic of the exhibit. I really wasn't expecting to buy a purse. So the actual shopping part of the pop-up is at the end of the exhibit. It is super hectic. Well, it was super hectic when I was there. I did go on a Sunday afternoon, like I mentioned. The reason why I went on a Sunday is if you are familiar with New York City, on Sundays, street parking is free. So I thought it would be, I would have better chances of finding street parking on a Sunday. I actually ended up finding a free spot, like right on the side of the building where the exhibit was. I was actually parked next to the exhibit. So it was super easy and convenient. I got really lucky with that. So when you're leaving the exhibit, you exit through the pop-up shop and, um, um, the pop-up shop is kind of a mix of, like I said, exhibit-specific merchandise as well as actual Louis merchandise. They do have some exclusive styles to the pop-up before the other stores have them as far as handbags go. I had a wonderful sales associate at the pop-up shop. Her name was Nika. So if you do go to the New York City Louis Vuitton pop-up shop and you are shopping, ask for Nika. She's such a sweetheart. She was so helpful. It was super chaotic, like I said, because it was Sunday. So I felt like a lot of people were there. It was pre-Thanksgiving. So I feel like a lot of tourists as well. So it was really kind of hard to get a sales associate's attention. The first thing I asked for was about the tote bags. And she had told me that you actually could not get the tote bag unless you were making a purchase. You couldn't purchase the tote bag. I was under the impression from other videos um, that you could just flat out purchase the tote bag. I don't know if in other cities maybe that was the case. And for some reason in New York, they just figured we're not selling the bag. Make them buy something more expensive to get the bag. Not really sure. So Nika, my sales associate there, was like, yeah, unfortunately, you do have to purchase something, whether it be from the exhibit or the actual Louis store, you do have to purchase something in order to get the tote bag. So I did want to pick up something else from the exhibit that was specifically tailored to the exhibit so that I would have the memory. I apologize for any noise you may hear in the background. Doing 21 days of videos is super hard with an almost one year old. So we are trying our best. So I knew I wanted to pick up something else that was specific to the exhibit so that I could remember the day, the memory, um, and just visiting the pop-up shop here in New York. So I saw that they had a book, a coffee table book, I guess you would call it, with 
every single one of the trunks that was featured in the exhibit and kind of the background on it. I will show a close up of the pages so you could kind of get the idea. So here you have all of the designers of all the trunks listed. So this is the detailing on the tote bag. Super beautiful blue they went with. Like I said, the orange was also very pretty. And inside is just your basic tote bag. It is a pretty good material, I won't lie. So it looks like this and on the side it says Louis. 200 I thought it would actually even be cute like up here because the tan kind of goes with the neutral background but I really loved um, the idea of the book well, I thought this was perfect because as you guys saw in the close-ups of the pages it gives you the information about every single trunk all 200 trunks that were featured in the exhibit who designed them where they're from why they designed them that way and then like a close-up picture of the trunk so I thought that was super cool because as you're walking through the exhibit every trunk does have a little information um, I guess you would call it card next to it explaining it and another thing I will say is there's several rooms throughout the exhibit with um, the different trunks as you saw and there is an associate or um, a Louis pop-up exhibit employee I'm not sure what they're called in every room and they're super knowledgeable so they're kind of there to tell you what trunks you're looking at who designed them and any questions you may have so I thought that was super cool because I actually was walking around and I saw a tree trunk and I was like so confused and the gentleman who was working that room was like basically that specific designer when the people at Louis had approached them to design a trunk. They sent back a tree trunk and was like, there's your trunk. So um, super cool, like every designer had their own spin and their own take on the trunk. So I really love that the book kind of highlights that. And it showed me like some details that I really didn't get to see in person. As I mentioned, I believe I mentioned, I am going to go back to the exhibit. When I went, it was, I kind of did a girl's day, just me, my mom, and Brixley. And I think it was something, like, I think it was actually an exhibit that my husband would like. So I am going to try to get back to the exhibit before it leaves at the end of the month. Out of all the rooms, my favorite room was definitely the balloon room. And all of the balloons on the ceiling and the walls were real balloons. However, the actual trunk was made of... I want to say acrylic balloons. I'm not 100% sure if editing me finds the info, I will put it up here. The balloon room and the balloon trunk were designed by the Brooklyn Balloon Company. That was Brixley's favorite room also. Um, it was just a really cool room. It was like just balloons everywhere, LV signs everywhere. If you have looked up the exhibit on Instagram, a lot of people take pictures in that room. So that was a super cool room. One thing that I did miss out on that I had seen on Instagram was there's a child section. Well, I guess like a children's table set up where you can color and design kind of your own trunk and there's crayons there. I didn't get to see that. So if I do make it back a second time, I'm definitely going to look for that. I think I kind of got caught up in just purchasing at the pop-up shop and then just kind of got out of there because it was super chaotic at the... um 
actual sales area it was super chaotic because it's a mix of people just kind of browsing and then a mix of people trying to purchase so it's kind of hard to get a sales associate's attention that's why if you do go definitely ask for Nika because she was great she understood the vibe the assignment she got me in and out the tote bag I got it in the blue as you guys saw before and in the close-ups however I have seen the orange print as well there was really no options and I ended up, Nika actually ended up hooking it up with two tote bags and they both were blue because I ended up, like I said, purchasing a bag, which if you want to see what I did pick up, uh, exclusive style to the pop-up shop, if you want to see what I did pick up, you have to just subscribe to my channel and be on the lookout for that video. It's coming very, very soon. But she actually hooked me up with two tote bags because I ended up purchasing from the exhibit as well. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed going to the Louis Vuitton 200 Trunks 200 Visionaries exhibit with me. Brixley had a blast as you can hear in the background. If you did enjoy today's video, please make sure you're leaving a thumbs up down below and do not forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications to my channel because every day for the month of December, instead of Vlogmas, we are doing a luxury designer unboxing. And as I mentioned multiple times in today's video, I did pick up a bag from the pop-up shop which I will be unboxing so you definitely don't want to miss that so make sure you turn those post notifications on and you're hitting the subscribe button and as always thank you so much for watching I will see you guys in the next video